What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word tattoo? Some people get tattoos to express their personality. Others get tattoos to uh, share the name of someone they, they love. Some people get tattoos to uh, share important dates. And others do it just to be creative. Now, what would you think if I told you I've tattooed half of my face? When I was two years old, my brother and I were playing in the kitchen. My brother was only eight years old at that time. And he decided to surprise my parents by cooking them dinner. So he took a frozen chunk of meat and he placed it in a pan filled with boiling oil. So the pan caught on fire. He was trying to take the pan over to the sink. He tripped and the pan, the oil ended up spilling down my face, resulting in third degree burns and my eye melting shut. This is when my reconstructive surgery began. I had skin graft, laser resurfacing, hair transplant, and tissue expansion. Growing up, I suffered emotionally because it was extremely hard for me to go to school every single day with constantly being bullied and made fun of. Kids, other kids couldn't wait for recess to go out and meet their other friends. For me, I would just hide out, find a classroom and hide out in that classroom and watch the time. Just wait for recess to be over. During, um, after that, I, I went through, I mean, I tried to get help, but it just never, it was never enough for me. At that time, even though I had a hundred surgeries, Every time I would step outside, someone would always ask, what happened to your face? This is even after all these surgeries. So I would build up my self-esteem and my confidence, and I would go out, and someone would say something like that. At 15 years old, I went to see my plastic surgeon, and I asked him, I said, what's next? What can we do? He said, Basma, take your money and go on a vacation. There's nothing else we can do for you. I was so devastated that moment. I was really young and I didn't feel like that was it for me. So at that time, I still had, as you can see, I still had only one eyebrow. Even though I had three hair transplants done to that area, it wasn't successful and I still had red discoloration on half of my face. So I brought, up the, I brought up permanent makeup to him, and I asked him, what's your thought on getting my eyebrows tattooed? He said, don't do it. It's the worst thing you can do to scar tissue. So, and he said, it's just gonna age horribly, and I will regret it later on. So I thought, Hmm, well, either I give up and just go lock myself in my bedroom for the rest of my life or get out there and try to find something to improve it. So that day I went home and I did my research and I decided to get my eyebrows tattooed. And this was the result after one hour. I was so amazed by it. And I, all I was thinking, I said, oh my goodness, I went through all that pain and all these surgeries and I had no result with my eyebrow hair transplant. And this was after one hour. And this is when it actually hit me, that pigment can actually survive in scar tissue. And not only that, I thought, well, instead of using black and brown pigments, why not use pigments that match the rest of your skin and actually implant it into the scar tissue? So I spent a year, I looked into the technique, to understand it and know exactly what needs to be done to actually implant the pigment. And that's when I started working on my own face. After that, during that time, that's when I realized actually it was nothing like getting a regular tattoo. There was so much more to it that once you actually implant the pigment in scar tissue, you have to see exactly how it turns out, 
how the scar tissue will actually accept the pigment and how deep I need it to go into the skin. Once I did that, this was the result after one year. Once I perfected my own procedure, I started using the same technique on all types of birthmarks, other burns, all types of surgical scars, vitiligo, and any type of skin discoloration. Here I have, this is one of my clients, Annette White. When I first saw Annette, she came to me, she was extremely depressed, she had given up. She told me that her memory of school was, and this is it, she still remembers it like it happened yesterday. She said one time she went to school and the kids, all the other kids, they nailed her to the ground and they used that pencil with the eraser on the back and they tried to erase the, the birthmark off her face. And she said, you know what the worst part was? The pencil didn't even have an eraser. All they were doing, they were just scratching her face with the metal part, which caused more damage to her birthmark. Once we did her, her birthmark, Annette became a completely brand new person. She was so much happier, and she lost 75 pounds now. And she just, she, you can actually see the excitement in her, and in her voice, you feel it. Here I have, this is Ashlyn. Ashlyn suffers from alopecia, which is a hair loss skin condition. She told me that every single morning for the last five years, she would wake up one hour, takes her one hour to draw on her eyebrows, and worry about it throughout the entire day, worry about, well, do I still have my eyebrows on there? Do, uh, you know, she's so scared to even touch her face. And she was constantly being bullied at school and made fun of and called every single name. After we did the procedure on her, her mother told me that as soon as she got inside the car, she took a selfie and she posted it on social media saying that today she's the happiest girl in the world. My determination to find a solution for my problem, what I struggled with, led me to finding a solution, not just for myself, but finding a solution for everybody that suffered from any type of birthmark or any type of skin discoloration. It took me a decade to get to this point. I remember when I first started out, and even with my, the success with my procedure, I used to knock on every plastic surgeon's door and I used to say, listen, like we actually have something here. But they weren't convinced at that time. After a decade and thousands of successful uh, procedures worldwide, now plastic surgeons are flying in to have me train them in this procedure. So this, been, this has been such a journey for me, but I'm very blessed. Thank you.